the me and the rifle, yeah? Yeah, are you the one that messaged me? Yeah, follow me. We need to talk. Okay. up here for privacy okay you know they tell you all world's a stage it's a butter bullshit anyway I I have met you before I was one of the men that was outside your place one night in a white suit oh okay. I have Ivan I am Ivan, yes. Nice to meet you. What, What is this about? I don't really have time I to get shot or killed today. I'm not out to hear you kill you. I have no weapons. You can check me. Okay. I'm here because I'm giving you information. People I've learned about. Things I've learned. I have uh, been basically screwed over by uh, my boss. The one who was out to kill you. You know, Sergei Kalinin. Yeah, a real piece of shit. Yeah. I am willing to help you to get him, basically. Stay on the down low. Okay. Because I, this piece of shit wants uh, someone I care about dead. And probably wants me dead at this point. I'm not quite sure. He's very, uh, he's not loyal in the, in the slightest. So what does that mean with me? That would mean that you would need to continue as normal, but I would be um, someone that you could uh, call upon for help, if you would say. I would be okay. an inside man. Fair. What's, I mean, why yeah. defect against your own your own people, if I might ask? I guess this disloyalty is really strong with him. He, uh... He values the loyalty, but you try to get it in return from him, he, pff, nothing happens. Okay. I he, know. He'd be more apt to shoot me right between the eyes before he'd uh, give up uh, something that he cares about. I believe it's it's Sergei Klinin, yeah? Because I'm pretty sure that's yes. the fucking douchebag that put a $10 million fucking bounty on my head. And then $5 million mm -hmm. bounty on everybody that's associated with me. So what's making me believe yes. that you have no interest in a lot of fucking money? Because if I wanted all that money, I got you here already, right? Exactly. Is there a sniper on no the hill behind around? you? And you're here just to collect my body oh, because sure you're wearing fucking not. gloves? Help me understand where this is gloves. coming from. I could have killed you by myself. You think so? Yeah, very much so. I'm pretty scrappy. Yeah, I'm pretty scrappy myself. So you're just basically doing this to get back at this jackass? Yeah, pretty much, because... He's... Basically... Because there is a woman I love, Echo one. I care about her, I don't want her to die. Fair go, enough. Echo one. 10-1 phone call. 10-1 phone call, pull me. I, I can't pull you. I'll pull myself. X-ray 1, I'll be pulling you as well. Copy. Ah, uh, hello, Ivan. It's been so long. Oh, hello there. I wanted to call up and check in how you were doing. It's been a while since you came to my residence. Have you been well, my friend? Yes, I've been doing everything you need of me. I've been doing everything you need of me, sir. Good, good. <laughs> get the way in. It has been very... Difficult lately, Ivan, with you not around doing your mission, the job that you've been assigned. I know you work very hard, but we've been having some issues. 
Issues? What kind of issues? Those that would turn traitor against our organization. The very principles we stand for. Yes, like, uh, like in Italia, yeah? Among them, yes. We've had some recent issues that have had to be dealt with. Anything I can do? Oh, it is no concern. I know you are very busy right now. Ivan and is being taken care of. I simply want to make you aware of the changing circumstances. And what are those changing circumstances? Oh, of course, you know how things can change, Ivan. Work situations, they become non-feasible anymore. You understand, yes? I get to where you're coming from, yes. Do you like the theater, Ivan? Possibly. What's your favorite show to go see in the theater, Ivan? I... I don't know. Cats, maybe? Cats, you say? Tell me a little about this, Ivan. I... I guess jumping cats? Jumping cats, yes. This is a movie, a play... I believe it's a Broadway show. What you go to the theater for? Is there a, is there a points boss? I just uh, I'm kind of busy right now. Of course, of course, it's always a point, Ivan. You see, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, a lot of self-reflection. Uh huh. Are you familiar with the tragedy of Macbeth? Vaguely, and like the Lion King. No, that's no, Hamlet. No, no. Not even close, I mean, you see. It's about a man, a Scotsman, who betrayed his king to gain power. Interesting. I'll have to check it out. Of course, of course. We can see it soon. Just exit stage right. Oh. Oh my god! What the fuck? Hangs up. I'll Ivan, can back. you hear me? Ivan! Ivan! Oh my god. Ivan! 911. Yeah, my name is Amanda Rifle. I'm at the Vinewood Bowl. Um, I was just literally talking with somebody on the stage appearance. Somebody shot him from far away. He's not moving. I've taken cover. Um, can, they, can you please send somebody up here immediately? What is the address? It's 2100 Vinewood Park Drive. Like, on the stage of the Vinewood Bowl. Alright, I'll get someone out there as soon as I can. There's a, there's a shooter, though. He's just to the south. The shot came from the south um, of the Vinewood Bowl, like, up on the hill. Vinewood Bowl? Like, the bowling alley? No, Vinewood. The Vinewood Bowl. Um, up, like, just south of the Vinewood sign. Okay. Alright, I'll get someone out there as fast as I can. Thank you so much. No problem. Ivan, if you can hear me, somebody's coming. Oh my god. Fuck it. Come on, Ivan, are you still with me? I haven't... Oh my god.
Well, fucking glad I didn't move <laughs> to the fucking right. That would have been my head. Ah! Oh, gnarly. Good shot. Holy shit. God, he shot him right in the fucking chest, you fucking coward! You fucking coward! You coward as fuck! You ruiner of fucking everything! I curse you! <sighs> fucking piece of shit! Fucking piece of shit. Go ahead, claim your fucking... Your ten million dollar bounty for me and go ahead and put a fucking bullet through my head, you fuck! Such a fucking coward. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Ivan. I'm so sorry. And thank you for coming to me. I don't, I'm fucking so sorry. This is so unfair. I don't understand this at all. He's over here. Ma'am. He's been shot through the chest. I can't get a pulse on him. It's just unresponsive completely. I think he got shot in the heart. But it came from like, I'm gonna say like up there on the hill. Over here! How is he? There was a shooter up on that hill I'm back there. close right now, but it's a... Uh, did, you, did you see him? Did you no, see him? but I was... There? Yeah, back behind us here. I was literally standing like... I don't know, like... Hold on. Like right here, and Ivan was standing kind of in front of me. And the shot came over my my right shoulder, into him. Okay. I Wait, haven't did you seen drive anything. Here? Yeah, my car's out there as well as his car is out there. He wanted to meet here. All right. Do you want to go ahead and, and stay by your car so we can get you out of this direct area? Yeah, that's fine. Is is he okay? Okay. We're gonna we're gonna get medics out here and we'll we'll have him looked at. But for now, we just need you to we need to get you in a safe area here so you're not in a line of any fire because we don't know where this guy is at this yes, time. Yes, sir. No problem. All right. Fuck, man.
unfucking believable. Your car, I think, might be the best spot. Or over. Alrighty, so tell me what was going on today. Uh, I just got a text message to come talk to this guy here, and um, we've had some issues. I, I'm Amanda Rifle, first off. Nice to meet you. I, I run a group called The Pinks. Um, I got a message to meet somebody here. I wasn't sure who it was, but came here, um, and he's somebody that worked with this uh, Russian group that's spearheaded by a guy, by a fucking coward named Sergei Kalinin. Um, well, anyway, as... We were talking, he was talking about like helping me out and helping my group out uh, with the threats that have been posed against us and shit. And he got a phone call by, I'm gonna say Sergey himself, and then referencing some fucking Hamlet shit um, and some other biblical bullshit or whatever. And then all of a sudden his chest just erupted. <laughs> okay. And you said you don't know this guy that you met on the stage? I have met him one other time, and that's when him and Sergey Klinin came to the Pink's farm when we had it out in Grapeseed, and this motherfucker showed up with a weapon with that other guy, Ser uh, with Sergey, late at night one night, and threatened um, to extort us for money and burn our building down and just do some stupid-ass shit. Okay, and what, and this gentleman over here he's a part of some sort of group of some sort yeah but he was like out and just trying to like get the fuck out of that you know okay all right how long were you guys down here for i would say maybe 10 minutes at the absolute most all right man you don't have any idea do you have an idea of who might have um, oh it had to have been shooting in terms of a group of the guy he was on the phone with, and you'll have to check his phone. I'm sure you might be able to pull that up. I don't know. Um, but, like, it was an older guy. It sounded like the guy that I had, uh, like, had an issue with before with Ivan over there. That's Ivan his, is his name. I don't know his last name. But it was that Sergei Kalinin guy that's, like, running this Russian mafioso fucking stupid-ass shit group. And do you happen to have your ID on you, Bunny Chan? I can get it. It's in my car. Hold on. Sure. So sorry. You're fine. There you are, sir. It's Amanda Rifle. Just go hang tight here for me. Um, yeah, no problem. Uh, I'll be back with you. Thank Shit. you. Is he is he gone? Um, I don't know. I'm not over there right now. Um, okay. All I know is we got medics on the way for him, so we'll we'll find out shortly here. Okay. Thank you.
Officer, this is his car. This red car here belongs to the gentleman, that Ivan guy. Okay. All right. Well, here's your ID back. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Um, you said mentioned a guy named was it uh, Sergey or Sergey Kalinin. I don't know how to spell it, but he's just a terrible, okay. terrible fucking person. He's somebody that's put a ten million dollar fucking bounty on my head, and any of my like friends and and fellow pinks and stuff. All right, let me see if I can grab a plate off of here. Okay. I like taking photos to the Rockstar Editor, it's freaking biblical. So, apologize if you're watching this and they keep doing that. It's super important to get good screenshots, because I'm sure you guys can attest to. I hope so, at least. Awesome! Roscoe sauce! Katie. You want to come over to get a chance? You want to come here when you got a chance? I got some, uh, some information from, uh, hold on. If you want to take yeah, that. I don't like this at all. Yeah, you go have a chat. Okay, um, we advise, yeah, just, th those look, th th just, that clothing looks exactly like the people that were sitting up in the hill, just, just... <laughs> go and have a chat with that guy just so he knows what's going I on. I will, I will. All right. So, uh, the words from the medics, um, they don't, he, he didn't make it. Oh God. Okay. I kind of suspected that, but I guess I just never really proposed yeah, you. Yeah. They did, they did all they could do, but, um, Thank yeah, you. unfortunately things like those are going to happen, but, um, I got all your information down. I got your name. I got, um, uh, his <sighs> name. Yeah. That Sergio cleaning guy will look further into that. Is there any, any other details, any other, you know, anything at all that might you this guy's know, be able to a point us in the right direction here? Dangerous fucking person. He's a monster and okay. a terror to the state and those within it. And I know he is single handedly responsible for the burning down and arson of our prior Pink's HQ up by the Mackenzie Airfield that's no longer there. Um he has He's put a threat on my life. I know that. Um, and, and those that are close to me. Um, he's just... He's a monster. I, he, you guys gotta okay. find him. All right. Please. Well, like I said, I got all your information down here. Um, we got we got a bunch of us out here. We're gonna be uh, starting our, our sweeps and everything around. So, um, if you have any questions for us, you can just call 911 again. Okay? Yeah. Or if you have anything at all that might you know, aid us and, um, and point us in the right direction. Absolutely. Um, if we have any questions for you, is there any number that we might be able to call you at? Yeah, my number is, um, 555-5513, and here's one of my cards. Okay. 
All right. All right, so we're about to uh, just finish up here and head out, but you're you're free to go. We appreciate your time. Okay, I think I know the person that drove up in that car. I'm just going to go see if it is who I think it is. Who might it be? Uh, the fire chief, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. All right, I'll be right back. And apparently they also know our uh, other victim here. 10-4. Holy fuck, man. Are you okay? No. <sighs> right literally in front wait, of wait. me. Wait, what happened? I got a message from a guy um, to meet here. So I drive over here and okay. fucking he pulls up in that red like fister car over there coil or whatever and gets out and he's like you must be a man to rifle and I'm like yeah um and he says yeah. come over here we need to talk in private and he's he's Russian so I think you're up to speed oh. on that shit so I do, yeah. and we go to the middle of the stage and we're having a private conversation, then he gets a fucking phone call, and on the other line of the fucking phone call is some jackass guy that I remember that was there. So this first off, this Ivan guy said that he was one of the two dudes who showed up at the uh, at the McKenzie Airfield where our old HQ used to be. And Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, so he does said Does she used to live there? Yeah, she does. Um Oh shit. But anyway, so just to come, you know, make a long story excruciatingly shorter. I'm sorry, I'm really fucking frazzled. Um, this this guy calls and he starts going off to all this fucking egocentric, pompous bullshit attitude talk about Hamlet this and Hamlet that and, you know, people trying to overthrow the king and blah, blah, blah. And this... <laughs> this guy... You know, your back window's broken. This guy just goes off and, you know, starts just chatting and uh, Ivan put it on speakerphone so I could hear it. And then next thing you know, I just, there was a shot and I saw the impact on Ivan and it hit him like, I mean, where his heart is, to be honest. And it just went, <sighs> like came from behind me over my right shoulder um, and just annihilated him right there in front of me. But he basically was said that he was, you know, working against Sergei Klinin and, you know, all that shit. So ugh, I don't, I don't know. Like, <laughs> sorry, I'm really emotional right now. All right. No, no, it's okay. Your back window is, uh, a little busted. What? You gonna be okay? Oh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. <sighs> Fuck, man. Okay. Hey, Nikki. Katie, hey, you good? Hey, Amanda. Katie. You okay? Yes. No. Alright, I got some info for you guys. Yep. Alright, let me pull up my notes here. Hold on. <sighs> I need to get out of here, though. Let's move a little more, uh, this way. This is fucked, guys. Like, they just know where people are at. And, I mean, this motherfucker put a $10 million fucking bounty on my head. And five million dollars on everybody else's that I'm associated with. He could have fucking popped me, but he didn't. I wasn't even, I was not even facing him. I would have had no fucking clue that this was going to happen. But this fucking uh, coward. I don't. Um, yeah. Okay, go. I'm good. So annoying. Do you think it has anything to do with what happened to our firefighter? Yeah, I don't like. Fuck, I don't. He, maybe he thought it was me, or he was just trying to send a message. Cause a similar thing happened the other day in Sandy. We're sitting in my truck at a car meet. Another firefighter in his car. 
no sound, just... I didn't even know he was down until now one call came in. I'm still kind of upset that the person that called 911 just come over to the, didn't come over to me and just tell me he called 911 instead. It's kind of oof, but uh, yeah. Back of the head, didn't see what didn't see it coming. Insta dead. Just <sighs> might be related. These motherfuckers. Probably related. I don't know anyone else. Want a fucking war? They're gonna get it. I'm only going to say it that much. They're fucking done. You know, if I wasn't in the position I was in, I'd join you wholeheartedly on that one. Yeah, but how long until you're fucking targeted? Or she's fucking targeted? Or anybody else? I mean, how much longer does this criminalistic mafioso bullshit get a fucking be existent in this state before this shit gets dealt with effectively? Yeah. Like, fuck. And I'm, I'm, I'm at that point where even though I, I'm the fire chief and get that public image is like, I can't, I can't go on any longer. It's getting, yeah. getting d down to me. Just be careful, you guys, okay? If they're still here and they see me talking to you or whatever, I mean, I don't want anything bad to happen to any of you. And I've been scanned the hilltops. I don't, I don't think they're around anymore. I hope not. Because I was up on, I was up there on Marlow, looking down with binoculars. And I didn't see anything else. Like, oh no shit. Yeah, when I was texting you, I just pulled up. So. Okay. <sighs> All right. Well, thanks for stopping by, guys. Yeah. And no worries. I well, I was going to actually call you later today anyway about updating you on what happened with Kale and the we think it might have been the Russians but I guess we just did now so yeah valid yeah I mean I guess, I guess, I guess if you're feeling up to it and you want to let off some steam we can go out later the three of us and still chat and maybe um again blow off some steam because Nikki and I had a bit of a encounter this morning at like two in the morning out in Chuma or uh, North Chumash. With with the Russians? No, with another mentally disturbed. Oh, I don't know how else to say it. Mentally disturbed party who has a uh, vendetta against me. Oh shit! Really? It's just personal though. Yeah, but it's not like full on rage killing. Russian organized crime bill. She's this one person who has, who I dealt with in the past a lot. Kind of thought, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. That's nah, all good. At least I know for a fact that this one has. Well, from what I've learned on this individual, with dealing them, dealing with them so much, um, don't use firearms. So at least as long as I keep a distance of more than like a. This talking distance, like you and I, I'm mostly in the okay. Okay, just please be safe, guys. Please, but I'm gonna need a little time to like absorb what happened here. Yeah, this is gonna fuck me up for a little while. Yeah. Fuck. I'm gonna get out of here. I mean, you weren't expecting it. If you were expecting it, it wouldn't be too bad, but... Well, either way, just seeing, like, someone's chest explode in front of you. I mean, literally yeah. in front of you. Like, we were probably as close as maybe Nikki and I are. Because I know that when you were doing your DPS days, way back, for your short little yeah. time, you saw some weird, some pretty rough stuff. Absolutely. But... You were in that mindset, so of course, this not being... <sighs> Again, if you need any help, just call me. And I will. we got some resources for PTSD and stuff that we could probably help with you on this one. I really appreciate that, Joe. Thank you. But I'm gonna get the fuck <sighs> out of here. I'll catch you guys later, okay? Yeah. Hey, yeah. just before you go as well, um, if there's anything that I can do to help, anything, like, just let me know. 
Yeah, I will. No problem. Thank you. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I was going to bring something else up, but I think you're going to wait a little while longer. Thank you. I yeah, appreciate that, maybe guys. Maybe in a more private setting. Yeah. All right. See ya. All right. Do you need something for me? Anything? Uh, I don't need anything. I just wanted to ask anything else before uh, me and my other officers uh, take off. Yeah, what's up? Oh, I'm just gonna ask if there's anything else you need from me or anything. Oh, no. Just, if you guys need anything from me, um, that one officer has my information. Alright, and you're Amanda Rifle? Yes, sir. Alright, you're pretty known. I think Joseph has your number as well. Yeah, thank you. I can always talk to Joseph. I know him. I think. All right. You think? Yeah, you know him. See you guys. Let me know if you guys need anything, okay? But I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Sounds good. Yeah. Are you taking a picture of the officer next to the car? No, I'm taking pictures of the car for for report. Yeah, I just happened to be standing there. All right, see you, gentlemen. Bye, ma'am. All right, thank you for your help. <sighs> um. Yeah, hey, you're gonna need. To, you're yeah. probably gonna. You should probably move your car. You're kind of blocking her in at the moment. Oh, she's sorry, got this. Got Look at this. She's got this. And, oh, move my, move my car. Um. Well. pretty awesome stuff so <laughs> anyway that will conclude this episode of the pinks and until next time y'all guess what we'll be seeing you next time see ya